real life gameplay versus real life lore. Oh man, I'd love me some real life lore. Both the YouTube channel and our actual lore. Man, the gameplay is just so boring. The developers could have literally put us at any other point in history and things would have been way more exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. America has no truer friend than Great Britain. George W. Bush be like, out here staring at Britain while France gets left out in the cold. This gives a bit more lore behind this image though. If the USA is staring at Great Britain, then this is kind of like the USA staring at a previous domineering ex. Even though France was like the good girl and helped you escape from all her evil tendencies. The Danes, after having their fleet destroyed in 1807, then planting 90,000 trees to have new ships by 2009. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. They were just planning another Viking invasion of the UK probably at this point. It's been 200 years in the making. French called to replace English with Latin as Europe's official language. Oh, you know all my Roma boos out there are gonna love this. Never thought I'd see this coming from a goal. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Japan proposes joint naval drill with Germany. Uh, let's not do that. Victorian factory owners, after finding a labor source that is cheap, easy to replace, and can reach spaces under machines that adults can't. I love that like every time a country is thinking about removing some sort of child labor laws, I now get tagged in it on Twitter. There's no better way to build some character than throwing some five-year-olds into the coal mines. Allied troops in 1916 realizing why the air smells funny. I just thought this was some spicy wind. <laughs> Anyone smell mustard? Gets nominated as a dictator for a term of six months, stops plowing his farm and accepts, assembles an army, defeats the enemies of Rome in 15 days, refuses to dictate any further returns to his farm, does the same 19 years later. Okay, I just want to know who sculpted him in this position? He's looking all types of thick. The US Army strike breakers and bombers armed with poison gas, all lining up to defeat 10,000 West Virginian coal miners. Square up thoughts. So this is a meme referring to the Battle of Blair Mountain, which was the second largest uprising in American history, just behind the American Civil War. Over a hundred people were oofed, and the battle would end with over a million rounds fired. This was legitimately no joke. Almost a thousand people were arrested. How have I never heard of this before? This looks intense. This all happened after WW1 as well. Maybe some of these men had some experience. No, we have superior tanks. One Panzer destroys three Soviet tanks. That's why we brought four. And that's basically the method they used for all aspects of the war during WW2. Whether it's bringing four tanks to take out one Panzer or four Soviet troops to take out one no-no German. Never underestimate meat shields. Iran shows respect to German national anthem. I'm just glad they got the right national anthem because this... Iran. Okay. I don't think no one informed them. I don't even know if they were doing this ironically. It kind of looks like they were just trying to be nice somehow. 753 BC, we are really the highest form of civilization. 476 AD, we are still having the better half of the empire. And then after Byzantine collapse to this day, at least we have some ruins and memes. Just got to keep looking at the bright side. Which that reminds me, we should actually cover the territorial expansion the Roman Empire did as of the last 28 days. Here we have a map of Europe and in red is the Roman Empire. Subscribe for more updates. Evil anti-communist dictator or evil communist dictator. Developing countries in the Cold War trying to choose one. Hmm, decisions, decisions. We saw this meme format just using Korea, but this is a much more accurate take. It wasn't just Korea, it was like all these developing countries. Ancient Greeks don't have any explanation for a bad happening. Every goat in a five kilometer radius. Wait, were they sacrificing goats or something? I didn't know about that. Is that where the term escape goat came from? I'm no chef, but boy are these bitches crazy. We almost got a second Ottoman Empire. What? During WW2, Japan found the legitimate heir to the throne and wanted to create a new Ottoman state in this territory in China where the people are ethnically Turks. Jesse, what the frick are you talking about? No, 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 Walt, I need you to calm down. I need more information, Jesse. This sounds wild. Wait a second. Okay, this kind of explains the whole East Turkestan thing. This is the exact Chinese territory they were referring to. I never put it together that there were ethnic Turks in China. I guess instead of calling this West Taiwan, maybe we could call this East Turkey. Democratic country elects socialist leader, USA about to liberate them from communism. Congratulations, you're being rescued. Please do not resist. Give me a word, any word, and I'll show you how the root of that word is Greek. Okay, Istanbul. You son of a bleep. Well, this lady thought it was funny. Yeah, when you yeah. ask the Chinese government what happened in 1989 in the Tiananmen Square. Nothing. 
<laughs> happened. Meanwhile, all this destruction just surrounding them. History teacher, Germany could never have won WW2 Hearts of Iron Players. Frick your opinion. That's like the best filthy Frank impression I could possibly do. I really wish I could be a fly on the wall for what it's like for like a high school history teacher nowadays. Like when I was going to school, history was just kind of whatever. Now there's kids out there that are basing their whole personality around this. Why do I feel like I'm partially responsible? Pirates were lawless and a harm to society. All pirates had to follow a set of rules known as the pirate code. Wait, that was a real thing? I thought that was just made up for the movie. Loot was distributed equally between all members. Pirates were astonishingly heterogenic. And finally, pirates operated democratically and were integral to modern democratic revolutions. I don't think I've ever seen pirates be put in such a light. What about all the pirates pillaging and uh, raiding? I feel like we're glossing over that. India, hey, can we buy your nuclear reactors? Canada, yeah! But you have to promise not to use it to build nukes. India breaks promise, builds nukes. Canada. Pakistan, hey, can we buy your nuclear reactors? Reactors. It's even funnier the second time. Yeah, I know our number one rival just built these devices that would wipe us off the face of the earth. Can you give us some ingredients? We promise we won't make that same exact thing. Is it really Canada's fault that South Asia kind of nuked up? Spanish colonizers teaching their language to the Mesoamerican colonies. Oh no! Stop! Stop! <laughs> yep. Sounds all right to me. You gotta start somewhere, and I think numerically is definitely the place to go. Doctors, after this man, suggest that they wash their hands between handling corpses and delivering babies. No! Why I gotta have all these rules? I don't wanna change up my routine now. I enjoyed handling babies in one hand and taking care of a corpse in the other. 16th century Europeans, human sacrifice? How barbaric. Good thing our invasion is saving them from these practices. A few centuries later, haha, <laughs> burn witch. <laughs> this lady knew what 2 plus 2 means. Means she clearly has some sort of black magic behind her. Oh my god, you are Diogenes, bro. It's me, Alexander the Great. Bro, I'm your biggest fan. Ask me whatever you want, and I will give it to you, bro. Okay, stand aside. Stop blocking the sun. Alexander the Great was literally simping over this philosopher. The first simp ever. <laughs> Please honor me or I'll flood slightly more or slightly less than usual, cries the Nile. Frick you. Shifts course 800 kilometers and oofs millions and topples your dynasty. That's just how the Yellow River decides to do it. And this swole doge was doing that all the time, just like whenever he wanted. How many people has the Yellow River actually oofed? I'm gonna say at least 10 million? At least? By doing whatever it wants. WW2 during the WW1 timeline? 1970? Damn, these guns are slow. Can't wait for the WW2 update. Don't worry, guys. We will win in WW2. World War is over. WW2 hype. Just wait for the sequel. Filter was already out there preparing his plans for the expansion pack. He had a lot of experience with the first one. What Germany and Austria did. Holding the fort down against the French, the British, and the Russians. What the Ottomans did. Watch their friends slowly die. Dab on them, son. Ah ha ha. Hey, I noticed you were stalking children at a public park. Is it safe to assume that you're a fan of the Ottoman Empire? This post was definitely brought to us by somebody from the Balkans. That's obviously a guarantee. Ottomans in the 15th century versus... Ottomans in the 21st century. It's the equivalent to like Caesar in a way. I just now see him as a pizza or a salad. East USA makes nice shapes and sizes for their states. West USA rectangles. Hot take time. Okay, East USA. It does look, you know, kind of nice. Some of those states are a little small though. I do feel like we need to kind of bunch them up. Still feel like we need a massive New England state. Modern composers. No, you can't infringe on my copyright, but it was just a five second clip. Classical composers. I I just quoted your sonata out of respect. Thanks, bro. Where the fuck Ooh. did we all go wrong? You know what's super annoying about classical music, too, is that the symphony that just played the music, they didn't write the music, that just played the music can claim your YouTube video too. Like I'm thinking about just getting a gang together and all of us learn these classical instruments. That way I can have access to this catalog of music without having to be worried about some greedy symphony. Ottoman Empire, and why exactly do we have to join this war, Germany? Well, we can give you some land in Ottomans. We ride at dawn. That's all you had to tell them. The Ottomans truly had like the best way to go out. They were the dying man of Europe for centuries and then all of a sudden they decided just one last hurrah, let's go out with a bang. Me, really into his history, all the while, school teaching me about the American Civil War for the 10th freaking time. Okay, yeah, these are getting really relatable. I feel like every year of history class was just American history in review. We took like two days to cover world history, and then the rest was just U.S. shit. That's probably why people outside of our country make fun of us, because we weren't even like taught the most basic stuff sometimes. George Lucas agrees to a deal in 1979 to retain rights to Star Wars merchandising and any sequels. George Lucas in 1978, after Star Wars sells 100 million dollars worth of toys. Man is a freaking genius. Well, at least when it comes to 
business. And big thank you to my patrons. Rye the Pie. This is Gabe. Why am I doing this? I love Mark. Drew has a small pee pee, but I give him money anyway. Dalton D. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Bring back Polar Arian Ball. After Hours. Barnsky W. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Mick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.